Hey, what's good family? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look and setting up the Webull desktop trading platform. In my opinion, this is gonna be the next best alternative to TradingView. So if you don't wanna pay the money for TradingView, I believe this is the next best thing. So without further ado, hey, let's get to it. All right, so right here, we are looking at the Webull desktop trading platform. I just got it, I'm not logged in. I haven't set it up or anything like that. This is just how it is. All right, so I am here kind of taking first impressions, looking at things. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk about what I like about this. I'm gonna talk about what I don't like about this and I'm gonna talk about how I set things up. First things first, I do like this RSI down here. Uh, let me see if I can get in here and edit it. So looks like uh, right down here with the RSI, I can uh, come to the settings. On the cool, I don't, uh, the only thing that I wanna, I'm not even gonna change anything, but I wanna make sure the upper band is 70, lower band is 30, so that's cool. Style, oh, it looks like we can change the color. I might want it, and hey, maybe I wanna change the color. Yeah, so now we got a purple RSI. I think I'm cooling with that, so RSI is purple. Actually, let me come in here and do uh, upper band, lower band. Style right here. Um, if we click over to style, uh, I want to put those upper bands and lower bands on for me personally. That way I know when it's overbought or oversold. So uh, going with the purple, if I want to pick my color, if I had to pick a color to go with the purple here, we'll, we'll make these lines white. So yeah, I'm gonna make both my lines white and uh, you may also be wondering about the, here, let me slide this over. I'm going to hit done. All right, so got my RSI set up to a way that I like it. Uh, do want to also note, you can take this, slide this up and down. All right, next thing here, I'm going to come over here to indicators. Uh, you can, it looks like that pops up all these indicators right here. Uh, we can kind of customize the indicators. This at the bottom, if this is too much for you, which it is at times for me, I can click on volume, this this vol right here. Oh, I don't know, that actually pops up down there. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not a fan of this, so I kind of want that going. All right, so I'm gonna close this volume for now. If you want the volume gone, you can actually right click on it and click close volume and it's gone. Uh, but I do want that volume, so that's, that's something. All right, next, uh, next I'm gonna right click, come to chart settings and kinda see if there's anything specifically I wanna take a look at. So, hmm. first off, I wanna come in and change my appearance. So background, I personally don't like the grid lines. I like a cleaner look. So now got the grid lines gone interval and symbol let's see i don't know what that's changing i'm going to leave that on for now just because i don't know what it is background solid color uh so i'm gonna go for a lighter color background i'm gonna go for yeah like almost a white or maybe maybe like this this is gray right here. That's going to be my background color. Um, oh yeah, I'm going to hit done right there. So now you see we got a different background color. Uh, I'm going to come in and, and you can change these to whatever you want. I'm legit doing this on the fly. Custom background color for extended hours. I personally... I want the same color for extended hours, so I'm gonna, I'm a, on the cool. I'm gonna try to do, do that. And then, hey, this one's a big one for me. I wanna change the color of my candlestick, so I like my bullish ones to be kind of blue. And I like my bearish ones here, let me, I like my bearish candles to be black. All right. 
All right, flashlight opening, high, highlight indicator values. We'll keep that. Trade. Display mode of cost based classic. What's Yeah, we'll keep classic. So this is uh, what this is doing is just this. This is showing you different kind of displays. What's going on is right here. Uh, if you're actually taking trades on the desktop, um, this is just showing you. So I have that there. Uh, cost basic line basis line. I actually extend to the left. Oh, that's that's kind of nice. Default. Open orders. Default. Axis. We'll leave that appearance. Chart display, fix, show candles gap. What do you mean? Okay, so this is showing if there are gaps. So I personally don't want that on, but if you want to see your gaps, you can do that. Uh, corporate actions. Okay, that's showing if there are dividends. So if you're interested in any earnings, dividends, or splits, I'm going to personally leave that on. Futures contract switch, I'll leave that on too. All right, so that's that's everything for that section. Like those chart settings, appearance, trade, access. All right, so I got it to kind of look the way I like for the most part. Oh, wait, hold up. Parent solid color background, candlestick, others trade. All right, so I don't like the the symbol. I don't like the symbol being on there. I want to get rid of that. And when I say symbol, I can see V O O one day. I want to get rid of that. Drawings, create alert, lines, I show chart settings. Uh, so some of the indicators that are already on here, we got EMAs. Um, um, Moving averages, Bollinger Bands, VWAP, MACD, RSI, and there are more indicators um, that we'll that I'll take a look at, kind of explore. Uh, let's see drawings. So we got trend lines. Okay, we got those. Short, long. Got it set up. I got my RSI set up. I got my candles the colors I want them. And now I'm going to set up my RSIs or my EMAs. So let's see. How do we? I'm going to click on my indicators. I'm going to click on. Okay, that's to turn them on and off. All right, so now I'm gonna come, come to the EMA. I'm gonna click on settings and I'm going to, I'm gonna come in here and look at my EMA. So right here, we got the 13, 48 and the 200. Those are the ones that are on. So I personally like my 200 to be purple, but I want it to be like a different kind of purple. So here I'll have it, I'll have it like that. Uh, I'll have my 13. I personally like mine to be blue like that. And then my 48, I like that to be orange. So I'm gonna make mine like, almost like that. And then inputs, okay, style introduction all right so i got my emas on now i want to actually no i want to i want to see my emas so i'm going to turn my emas back on and i am going to come to settings style i'm going to personally turn off the 200 for now just so it's less busy this this is good for how I trade for the most part. 
Uh, now, let's see. Indicators. I'm going to search volume. So we're, we're going to get rid of that one. This is a fun one right here. A lot of people ask me how they can get multiple screens. This is how you do it. So um, up here, you can see you have these toggles. If you come over right here where it says grid, click on that. Uh, you can have multiple charts. You can kind of choose your layout. It looks like up to nine. So if I want a nine, I could come in, do that. And then if I want to have different symbols, I just kind of come in and type whatever I want to do. And they're all going to kind of have the same setup. And just like that. Yeah, we're kind of good to go. So, oh, Bull's having a good day, I see. So, yeah, if you want to look at multiple charts, you can. Um, I'm going to personally drop this down, maybe have four, a little bit more realistic. Uh, next thing is this open, high, low, close. I personally can do without seeing all that up there. I'll probably, uh, yeah, prefer to have that out of the way. So, yeah, got the open, high, low, close out. And, uh, yeah, the only thing that I kind of want to get rid of is this uh, is the symbol in the background. I, everything else looks looks fine. Oh, wait, hold up. Let's say symbol. I don't know. Crosshair. Indicators. I don't. So right here you have your options chains, related symbols, news, comments, financials. So you will need to be logged in to do some of this stuff. If you don't have a Weeble account and are interested, I think they're offering free stocks. So if you're interested in that, I'll have a link down below in the description. Uh, just so you know, I used to use Weeble a lot. Uh, right now I'm more on Moomoo and Robinhood. Uh, so at the moment, I am not really using it too much to trade. But uh, when it comes to a solid trading platform, um, I do believe uh, Webull has a solid trading platform. Got a lot of good amount of data. Uh, got a screener here. And real quick, this is how I would set up my charts on Webull. I might want to play with the colors more. Um, I still want to get rid of the, like the where it says bull one day. But uh, taking a look at a couple other things I would want to do is I would want to make sure that I also have my favorite time frame. So. I want to add all my favorites down here. So I really like, I'll have the one minute, the two minute, five, 10, 30, one hour, four hour, one day, one week, one month. So I'll have all these indicators or all these time frames, And I really love to see kind of how it's doing on these time frames. So love to see that. Uh, next thing that I will kind of make sure that I have going is going to be extended hours. So whenever I'm on any trading platform, I always make sure extended hours is on. So I get all the data, all the information. So if we turn this on, uh, you can see that there is now a lot more data and trading in extended hours. Just started out with extended hours. That's something I always want to be on night. I always want to see everything I can uh, over overnight, extended hours any 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 data and any data i can see in the charts i want to see it and then last but not least uh some of my favorite tools that i'll be looking to use uh, is going to be the trend line tool which is where you take one point and another point and you can kind of draw trend lines with it um, next one is going to be horizontal line which is good for drawing support and resistance levels probably would want to change the color, make it something a little more solid. So maybe a black like that. Um, then after that, uh, there is also the horizontal ray. I probably would want to make that black too. So that's going to be like more from a specific point, but it's similar to the horizontal line. It's just from a point. Uh, then also, Rectangle tool, this is going to be good for drawing supply and demand zones. So 
I would take it, draw it like that. Um, once again, maybe make that a darker color so I can see it. So I see there's a demand zone here. I would draw it like that, have that there. And let's see what else. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite positions, long position tools. So this is gonna help you kind of plan out your trade. So let's say I wanted to get in a trade at this level right here. Uh, wherever this middle line is ideally where your entry is. Um, the bottom of this is ideally where your stop is. And the top is ideally where you're looking to take profit or where the trade is and you can kind of move it along the way. But this is how you track a trade and you're able to see the risk to reward ratio. So um, with where the stop loss right now with where the stop loss is and where the take profit is, um, the risk to reward ratio is I, I could lose this trade three times and still be profitable. So I like the odds on that trade. So if this is, if trades look like this, that's solid. Um, to the other side, uh, this is the sh long position tool. There's also a short position tool right here. So once again, kind of similar thing. If I were to uh, take this and kind of make it the opposite, entry right here, like notice right here, your entry kind of affects everything. So if I put it like pretty much right in the middle, uh, risk to reward ratio is going to be one, which means for every trade, every one I get wrong, I need to get one right to break even. Whereas uh, if I'm trading to the downside, if my stops up here and my take profits up here, I can get this, I can get this trade uh, wrong three times and still be profitable. So this is a quick run through of the Webull desktop platform, uh, kind of how I would use it, how to set it up, what indicators I would use. This is plenty for trading, uh, plenty for planning. If you're looking for a solid desktop trading platform, hey, not a bad place to start right here. Once again, if you are, if, if you don't have a Webull account and are interested in getting some free stocks, hey, be sure to sign up using that referral link down below in the description. Uh, when you sign up using that, I, not only does it help you, also helps me. So thanks in advance. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, what are you waiting for? Be sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification icon. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off. And I want to change your life.